I really literally feels like my parents feeding me poop. Yeah, it kind of smells like a dirty diaper, like onions in a dirty diaper. Yeah, that's what it smells like. Hey guys, what's poppin'? You know that's what you have to do now on YouTube, so I should say, hey Lawiners, what's poppin'? Uh, welcome back to hot, sunny, actually rainy today, isn't it? You're dressed up today, aren't you? Look at you. Let me show you off real quick. Yeah, damn. Looking fine, looking real sexy, real hot. Uh, the reason being is we're going to buy fruit, and we always dress up to go buy fruit, right? <laughs> very very important to do so now why are we talking about fruit today well it's because fruit in China is guaranteed to be different especially where we live compared to most of my audience is American and a lot of Europe uh, completely completely different and what I mean is that not only are we in a tropical region down here in the south in uh, Guangdong province but the fruit that we get here is radically different than the fruit that they get up north and also the fruit that we get back home I shot a video about this years and years and years ago terribly shot by the way but uh, I wanted to do it properly this time. Reason being, there's tons and tons of fruit shops and there's probably four or five just on the street that we're on right now. Now one thing I want to say is that something very strange, and I think you'd agree with me, most things in China are cheaper than in America, right? Yeah. Now, what is so weird about fruit in China is that you'd think, especially because like, you know, manual labor is cheap and farmers aren't paid very much, that people would pay less for fruit. Mm -hmm. But they pay, they pay. They pay what? more oh. for fruit. I was trying to feed you a line. Um, they pay more for fruit, right? A lot more. I'd say four or five times what we pay usually for fruit back home in where I'm from, New York, right? Now, you were surprised when we went back to America, right? How cheap the fruit was. The they produce. Are. Everything the is cheap. The problem is, like, a lot of things are not that fresh, too, in America. Yeah, one thing not I was going to say. In America, it's probably is the time we go there it's like no it's true because like China hasn't taken off with the whole factory farm idea and also like cheap imports and stuff so a lot of these fruits yeah you can get much cheaper if you go to like a farm or a market right but these little specialty fruit shops are quite special because not only do they have really really good fruit but it's also really really expensive and they have a really really good selection right mm -hmm. so we're gonna go pick some out for you and we're gonna taste test them at home what do you say? ready baby ready to eat some fruit hi Sweaty, sweaty one in this fruit shop. Lots of good selection now. Awesome, weird stuff. We're gonna pick everything out to show you guys. Bobby, what'd you get? Huh? I'm gonna pay now. How much was it? 200. So we're paying $30 US for a bunch of fruit. Yeah. Told you it was expensive. Ah, oh, it just started pouring rain. It started pouring rain. We gotta get home with our fruit. Yeah. Baby refused to go in her stroller, so she's being held right now, and I got all the fruit. Got a fruit, baby. Oh, I hate this. It's freaking hot. It's like 100 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's also raining. So it's like hot rain. It doesn't cool down. It's, it's absolutely terrible. Uh, that's scary. So we are back. We have all of our fruits on the table. Yeah. It's a fruitful, fruitful day, isn't it? We got Baby on the side here. She's not incredibly happy with the situation because we had to turn down her favorite TV show, Peppa Pig, right? Mm -hmm. but we got a bunch of fruits out here on the table. What do you want to start with? I want to start with durian. Durian. Well, everyone knows about durian, right? Everyone knows what durian is at least, but a lot of people haven't tried it yet. And the first thing people say is what? It smells. Oh, the smell. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, some <laughs> of the airline even like uh, will, will force you, like we're saying, like you're not allowed to put any durian product in uh, into the plane. Right, because it smells so bad. Some people say it smells like uh, rotten eggs. I think it smells kind of like onions, like really gross onions. I remember the first time I ever had it. I really literally feels like my parents feeding me poop. Yeah, it kind of smells like a dirty diaper, like onions in a dirty diaper. Yeah. That's what it smells like. However, it does not taste like that for sure, and we know that very well. Now the weird thing is, inside of all the slop, there's a big, huge seed which you can't eat, right? Yeah. You want to try the, the gross one? Why you want? You can it? have the good one. Okay, good. I'll have the sloppy one. Ready? One, two, three. Mmm, it tastes like a very slightly citrus custard, like the inside of a custard pie. Very smooth, very soft. What would you say it tastes like? Slow, slow down, 
Save some for later. It's been a while since we had that. That is absolutely delicious. Would you recommend it? Yeah, it's my favorite. This is bizarre. This looks like a Chinese lantern, right? Mm -hmm. It also looks like something you would never eat. <laughs> very, very strange. This is called a gooseberry, or gunyang, which is, means woman in Chinese, right? Or girl. Girl. And what you do is you open this, and inside is this little looking, kind of yellow looking tomato thing. And this is only in the north of China, around Heilongjiang, mm -hmm. Liaoning, uh, and Dalian, that kind of area. That's where I just came back from. I saw these everywhere by the truckload, very oh, cheap. Really? Now these are fantastic, and I had never seen these before. And we bought it. Remember, we were up in uh, up in the north. It was your first time as well, right? Yeah, it was. We ate hundreds of them, mm. and they do they do taste like a mixture between a tomato and a grape. I would say. I do think it tastes like. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, What's it called? I really think they taste like mangoes. Mangoes. A little bit like mangoes, you're right. They pop in your mouth just like a, a cherry tomato. Mm. And actually it has a very similar taste to a cherry tomato as well. Mm -hmm. You like them? Yeah, I love it. Big fan. These are very, very special to this area. These are called lychees, and you've probably heard of lychees before. I think they're starting to grow them in America. Mm. But lychees are super famous down here, right? And yeah. they're perishable, they're hard to, to ship. So when I was growing up, I had never seen them. You peel this hard shell away, and there's a lot of different kinds of these, right? Mm. And you gotta look for worms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially like in the tip of the thing. There's a lot of worms usually. If you peeled a grape, and we're left with like a little pit inside, that's what it's like. It kind of looks like an eyeball. The good quality mm. one is the 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 uh, the little seed is small. Usually, some of the bad quality one is like the meat is less, and then right. the the what's it called? The pit is. Huge. Right. Yeah, that huge pit with less mm. meat. We got a good one. Mm. These are so sweet. It's so sweet. It's like drinking pure juice with sugar in it, basically. Mm. And the way it kind of bursts in your mouth just like a grape, but much mm. sweeter than a grape. This is almost the same thing, really. It's a little bit different. What dragon are these? Dragon eyes. They're called longyan, yeah, dragon yeah. eyes. And you pop these open. You open one of these. And it's almost the same. It looks the same as a lychee, but little. Very little. And the fruit is much tougher. Mm-hmm. And, but it tastes super sweet and nice, but the flavor is much stronger. Mm. It's like concentrated. Mm, the pits are huge. Mm. People have these out. Yeah, try this out. Uh, you can eat it like the snack. Mm. And also, Guangdong people love to cook it with a soup. Right. These are called pi pa, right? No, this huang is called pi. huang pi. Huang pi, sorry. When I was a little, like really, really young, I, I don't know why, like I can't even eat by myself kind. And then like my parents always said like I love Huang Pi that like every single time they want to feed me They say like Huang Pi Huang Pi I open my mouth and then they just shove the rice to, oh, my, they tricked you. to my mouth Now I don't understand why you liked it because Huang Pi are so sour It's very sweet I don't even know how to say that in English <laughs> Yellow skin Yellow skin that's what they're called there you go <laughs> So you gotta peel it mm. They look like you don't have to peel it uh, Some people don't peel it but yeah. you recommend that I do? I prefer to peel it. Okay. Yeah. Next, you just gave me a <laughs> seed. Baby, you want to try one? Hmm. That's much better than what I had last time. Okay, it is pretty yeah. sour. It is pretty sour. It's not. Now this. This is called a mango seed in English, and in Chinese, it's called a what? Sanzu. Sanzu. Now, sanzu are probably the weirdest looking fruit to me. Like, it looks like a rock or a stone with leaves on it. Like, it looks like something you wouldn't eat. But when you open it up, mm -hmm. it looks like garlic inside. Mm -hmm. Does it taste like garlic? No, it tastes really sweet and nice. To this day, not only the sweetest fruit I've ever eaten in my life, the sweetest thing that I've ever eaten in my life, sans pure sugar, right? It is so intensely sweet. I don't know how it becomes like that. Isn't it bizarre? Very juicy. Almost like a very soft cotton candy, like uh, fibrous texture, but super, super, super crazy sweet. Amazing, absolutely delicious. The last one we have here is called a? Shijia. Shijia. And in English, this is called a custard apple. The reason being, it is very, very soft like custard, kind of like durian is, but it smells kind of like an apple. It actually does. It doesn't have a citrus smell to it. And it's so soft that when you touch the skin, your fingers just go straight into it, right? How do you eat this? Because it looks like there's a lot of seeds and skin all over it. Yeah, just steer, uh, 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 avoiding the skin. Just eat, directly eat the white part. 
Mmm. That is also incredibly sweet. And one thing I've noticed is how sweet fruit is here compared to where I grew up. Mm -hmm. Fruit to me was always really, really sour. I fell in love with fruit when I came to China because actually I wasn't a huge fan of fruit. Oranges, apples, pears, everything's really sour where I grew up. This stuff, oh, it's pure sugar. I think apple is pretty good. Mm. Not as good as a custard apple, that's for sure. <coughs> this is delicious. What is your favorite fruit in this table? And what do you recommend Lao winners to try? This. Custard apple. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say the same thing, but I will buck the system here. I will say, if you have a chance to try anything, try a mango steen. These are so potently sweet and delicious. I guarantee you've never had anything like it, unless you've tried it before. And also, it's fairly easy to find durian around the world nowadays. Give it a shot. Really keep an open mind about it. It's not as disgusting. It's like you watch these really TV shows, good. people are like, bleh, bleh, smelling it and they eat it and they're like throwing up all over themselves like Andrew Zimmern or whatever his name is, the Bizarre Foods guy. It's not like that. It's not like that. It's really, really tasty. It's delicious. It's like eating a piece of custard cake. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, don't forget to leave a like downstairs below if you enjoyed the video. If you want us to try more stuff, we'll always be here to do it, even though this just costs us a fortune. <laughs> Thank you so much, Law Winners, and I will catch you on the next one. Nice. A wax apple looks like an apple, but it's waxy. Try a bite. Mmm. Is it good? Juicy, Juicy and sweet.